Hey everybody, Mike Day here with EverythingAboutConcrete.com. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to mag float a slab, how to run a concrete edger tool, and how to broom finish a concrete slab. Stay tuned! Hey guys, Mike Day here with another version of Concrete Skills. Now today we're going to be talking about concrete edgers. I got a 6x12 pad here we're going to broom finish. And I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about the different types of edgers for concrete. What edgers are used for are to put a finished tool mark around the outside edge to give the pad kind of like a picture frame look. I've got three different types of edgers here. So the first edger I have is a, this is a steel edger. It's a four inch edger. They come in different sizes. They'll come in two inch, four inch, six inch. This one's four inches. I'm not a particular big fan of these. I don't like the way that the edger is, see how it's just flat across there? And then you have the turned part for the, for the finished tool mark. I kind of like these, these metal ones here that the edges, the edges on them kind of tip up. You can see that. They tip up, they just make it easier edging. They don't dig in as bad, so they float over the edge a little easier. This one's a steel edger. This one's about three and a half to four inches wide too. The one we use the most is this, this one's pretty used, but it's a, it's a brass edger. It's about a two inch wide edger. And uh, the edges also tip up on this one, as you can see. Just makes it really nice and easy to, to put in on that edge like that. Slide it right up against the board and you just run it back and forth. Gives you a nice finished tool mark. Rounds the edge off. The steel one will do the same thing. You just have to make sure that you lift up when you're going this way and then up again slightly when you're going this way so you don't dig in. If you don't, your edges will dig in like that. And you're just making more work for yourself. That's why, that's why I prefer the ones where the edges that are tipped up. These ones you can keep a little bit flatter as you go. Leaves you that nice finished edge mark right there. All right, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna set this in my stand. I'm gonna go around this pad, then I'm gonna mag it and broom it, and then we'll leave that finished tool mark after I get done brooming it.
I want to show you guys something. Sometimes when you're doing edges with an edger, sometimes the edge will have some imperfections in it. And when you go over it with the edger, maybe it doesn't quite fill all the imperfections in. So one way to fix that with the edger is you can just take your edger, you can scrape up a little bit of cream on the surface. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got all kinds of cream there on the edge now. And you can fill, you can fill that cream right in on the edge like that. And it fills in any of the little imperfections. You don't have to worry about that. You're going to be magging that in and, and fixing it anyway. But that's how you fill in the imperfections going around the edge. Yeah, now I've got my first... My first, I call it my rough edge, all the way around. Now I'm gonna mag the slab out and broom it. Then I'll put the finished edge on. Right, getting ready to broom this. I got a two foot broom I'm using. Pretty fine hair on it. It's a nice broom finish. These brooms come in three feet, they come in four feet. This is a small slab, so I'm just using a two footer. I like to broom it right after I mag it so the, the surface is still a little moist. It doesn't dry out. Just set the broom down nice and light. Pull it back nice and even without stopping. Use a nice fine broom finish. Pull it back without stopping. Start getting a few balls, concrete balls on there. Just kind of tap your broom off on a bucket or something. That just means you're getting a little bit too much cement paste built up. You might even have to rinse it off with water and then just kind of push the water out of it.
All right, now we're going to put the finished tool edge mark on. Make sure you make sure your edge is clean. Keep going back and forth, nice and easy. Just want to leave that finish, finish tool mark. Steel edger, got your edge mount, broom finish patio. Hey guys, Mike here. Thanks again for watching this video. If you need to find any of these tools, I'll have a link for them down in the description so you can purchase them yourself. Also, if you like this video, I mean, go ahead and give me a, a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And if you need to know how to form and pour a concrete slab, I have a course for that. I'll have a link for that down in the description for you also. And then lastly, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then the little bell notification along with it. And that'll keep you updated with any of my new videos that I get coming out. Thanks again. Have a good day.